Well, guys, it's the uh, second part of this video series on rebuilding our Porsche heads. And as you can see, I already have one head lapped. The valves are already lapped for cylinder number one. Time to do cylinder number two on our 1967 Porsche with a uh, 76 912E Type 4 2 liter motor in it. So today, I'm going to show you guys how to lap your valves. And it doesn't matter if you're a Porsche guy, a Volkswagen guy, or hell, you can be both of them like me because I'm sitting here with a uh, Pontiac 326 motor. And right there is a Boxster 3.2 motor in my garage. So I'm kind of a crazy ass when it comes to the P cars, the Pontiacs, and the Porsches. But with that, any valves you need to do, if you watched my first video, I showed you how to go ahead and clean them up before you do a lapping. Today we're going to lap the valves. I'm going to show you how I lap valves, and you can try it too, but it's my way. It may not be the right way, but it's my way, and that's what we're going to do today. So let's get into this. Let's go. Now, the purpose of lapping valves is this. You see, we have the, what we call a valve seat. This is that outside edge right here. Let's see if I can show that to you. you. See that outside edge right there? That's the part that makes contact with the head and seals the head off during combustion. So what we're doing is we're basically, we're making sure that both of our valves seat correctly and are completely secure and down tight so there's no escape there's no leakage and to do that you have to lap the valve and so what that means is pull these out is you're essentially going to put some rubbing compound on it there'll be a link down below where you can get some of this you're going to put a little bit along the stem here a little bit along right there then you're going to set that back down into the head you're going to take said device get it on there and whirl and whirl and whirl and whirl until it recuts this valve to fit that port and then you got to make sure that it, when you go to put it all back together which we'll do in another video coming down the road where you put the uh, springs and the keepers in and everything that everything is the same when you're going so we're going to make sure we mark everything so Let's, uh, let's get into doing some valves. Gapping, lapping, lapping, lap, lap, lapping some valves. All right, so we're gonna do the intake valve first on our Porsche motor here. It's gonna go on the right there. Obviously, it's the big one. You can't really mess them up as far as where they go. Now, on some motors, you can. They may be different. And as you can tell, these are two different sizes, and they're also shaped a little bit differently, so you can't really mess them up. But point of the being is still the same on this. Now, what we're after, see there's two different colors there. Let's see. As you can see, there's two different colors. There's a darker and there's a lighter. That lighter part is what rides on side this edge here. This is what we call a valve job. And there's a single valve job and there's also a three angle valve job. But for simplicity, we're just doing a single valve. So we take our compound, our valve, valve branding compound, and you're just going to take it and just kind of put some on there. I don't need a lot, but you need enough to be able to completely uh, make sure that lip there has coverage. So just take your finger and lap it on there. Get it on there. It's kind of gritty, so that's the whole point of it, though. And just kind of dab it along, making sure you got it good and plenty on there. Hey. Okay. As good as it's going to get. Now, drop it into the hole and set her down. Next, you're going to get your whittling stick here. And there comes in uh, two different sizes. Whatever kind you need, whatever kind you think you're going to have to have here. And essentially, this is all you're going to do. Let me blow this out a little more. The key here, and the best way to say this is, you're listening for the tone to change from grind, 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 to grind, 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 grind. So every time you do it, you're going to lift it up, you're going to move it, put it back down, you're going to spin it. Move it up, spin it. You're going to do that probably for two, three minutes until you feel like you have it down pat. So let's find out. Make sure this is clean. Take it, stick it on there. This is a suction. Right, get that around. 
And then you're simply just going to take it and lift it up. And this is the uh, this is the part that's a pain in the ass with these sticks, is because they're suction. Let's see if you can hear that again. Listen to the tone. Can you hear how it changes sound? Try this bitter end here. Get on there, boy. Nope. Oh, okay, I gotta clean this up real quick. Clean that off. Make sure it gets a decent suction on there. This is the one that's, this is why it's a pain in the ass. Sometimes, if, if you're in a Porsche four cylinder motor, um, or even a Porsche, maybe a six cylinder motor, you could probably get away with this. But if you're gonna be doing a, a like a Pontiac V8 and you're gonna have to do eight of these damn cylinders, there's a way you can use a drill. I'm not gonna show you that today. Maybe when we get into rebuilding the uh, Pontiac motor, I'll show you the drill method. But for now, for four of them, your first time, or if you're your second or third time, this is the way to go. So let's get back in there and keep doing it. Stick around. I'm going to stick around there and just do our little shuffle, 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 shuffle. And you're going to start to hear it not grind as loud. It's going to become quieter and quieter and quieter. Once you start to hear it quieting down and there's no tonal change, that means that valve has been properly lapped to that port. Let's do it one more time and see what we have. Hey, that sounds gooder. To the next valve. So now we have our exhaust valve, that smaller one, same principle. Chandler, Oklahoma, you're on the line. Hey, this is Bondo Billy. Bondo Billy, how you doing, buddy? Good. I just, I gotta let you know, I'm in the middle of lapping valves on a Porsche motor and I'm recording a video. Oh, yeah. So let me pause the video real quick. <laughs> All right, go for it. Talk to me. All right. Now for our exhaust valve. Again, we're going to take our rubbing compound. Get a little bit on here just like before. That should be good. Maybe a little too much, but you know. Again, we're going to take it and make sure that we get it on that edge. Dap it on there really good. On that edge. All right, that looks good. We'll go ahead and drop this down and into the uh, valve guide. And put that on there. Raise it up. Raise it up. Right, right here. That's 
suction back on there. Down there is kind of big, but it hopefully works. And as you do this, you start to hear it get quieter and quieter. And that's what you're after. You're after that tone. We now have both valves done, so let's clean them up. So, pull this one out, pull this one out. Let's clean them. Ew. Little carb cleaner. Clean that up. Mutro better. And now again, you can see there's a line. See how it's light and dark? That dark part has been ground down to match the seat in the port of the head. That's what you want. So with this one, we'll shoot this one down. We'll clean that one up. Then, same thing. You can see the difference between the non-grounded and the grounded part. Next, we need to clean this head. So again, and I'm out of freaking great. All right, guys. So we finished up lapping the valves on our Porsche motor here. You understand, lapping valves doesn't matter if it's on a Porsche, a Volkswagen, a Pontiac, a Chevy, a Cadillac, a Toyota, a Nissan. Lapping the valves just helps you make sure there's a perfect seal in that head. Now, the kit to buy this and the rubbing compound is in links below from Amazon. You will make me a nickel, maybe, maybe even two cents if you buy it. But it's quick, it's easy, you click it, you order it, and you know you get all the tools you need. Once you get this far, you should probably number your uh, your valves just in case if you have to take them apart. Like I'm going to take these apart again. I want to make sure they're right. So we know this here is the cylinder closest to the back of the car. So it's piston number one or cylinder number one. So just a one and a one. And we go north. This is number two on a Porsche motor. So again, two and two. Now I can take these out. I know exactly where they go. And I'm not going to forget which one goes where. They're perfectly set. Just kind of a, a simple way. Now, you could have done this if you disassembled your heads on your own, but I didn't. I had someone else disassemble them, make sure they were good to go before I then rebuilt them. And everything was good to go. Speaking of that, you remember that one valve that was just toasty crunchy? Well, I got a new one. And if you need to order valves for your uh, Porsche motor, there's also a link down below where I got this. You can pick some of those up. Only needed one. So this will go in the parts bin. The new one will go into the new head. And we'll be rocking and rolling. So with that, guys, thank you so much. Make sure to tune in next week for the part where we actually put the springs and the uh, keepers, the valve tops and the keepers in. That'll be next weekend. I'm going to show you that and how that all that works together. So thank you so much. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. If you're into Porsches or vintage Porsches and Volkswagens and you like how we're doing this air-cooled rebuild, it's kind of a budget build in a sense which if you watch all the videos, you'll see this motor only had about 5,000 miles on it when piston number four went, <laughs> which we think it ran lean, and that's probably why she did what she did. But we're going to hopefully have this motor back together here in the next few weeks, back in the 67 Porsche, 
and cruising around for a little bit more summer. Of course, we don't do a lot of driving in Phoenix, Arizona in the summer in our classic cars with no AC, but we're getting there, so we're looking forward to that. All right, thank you so much. Hit that subscribe button. Share this video out with the other uh, air-cooled friends, and I will see you next time when we put the heads all together. Until then, have a good one, guys.